It's that time of year for wild speculation and rumors about new bikes being launched in the months ahead. And recently we talked about what might be coming from Trek and Callendale as sort of revealed by the UCI's list of approved bikes and equipment. And if you missed that video, it's linked down below and up above as well. But in this video, we are talking about what might be a brand new Carnago race bike. I have no idea if this is fake or genuine, but it looks amazing. And I haven't seen anything this radical from Carnago since the 90s and the early 2000s, especially that period when it really collaborated with Ferrari, the car manufacturer. So a fantastic looking bike, but is it a fake? Is it genuine? Well, let's dive in and take a closer look. So whether that picture is a genuine or a fake, we can at least expect to see a new bike from Carnago if the way the bike entry works is anything to go by. And we can make a reasonably educated guess that this year we might see a new bike from the Italian bike brand. So the current flagship race bike, the V3 RS, which Tade Pagaccia is currently racing, was launched back in 2019 and the C64 a year before that. So given that timeline, they're both well due for an update. And while the C64 might be due for an update, it's a V3 RS that we're really interested in because that's a bike that Tade Pagaccia will be racing at a Tour de France. So the timeline is one thing, but the other thing is weight. Now, if you've been watching pro racing this year and last year, you'll know that most of the World Tour Peloton are now on disc brakes entirely, with the exception of a few teams and riders, and particularly Tade Pagaccia, who's flip-flopped between rim brakes and disc brakes on his V3 RS. And the reason for that going back and forth is due to weight. The weight of a disc brake bike is heavier than his rim brake bike. So for mountain stages with lots of climbing, he goes for the rim brake bike to save the weight, giving himself that edge, whether it's psychological or actual competitive advantage on the mountain stages. And given the way he races and attacks, then I can see why he'll want the lighter weight bike. So a lighter weight version of the V3 RS would be a natural update, a natural move for them to make to get that weight down as low as possible. So Tade Pagaccio can ride disc brakes at all the races, whether hilly, flat, whatever it is, because clearly he doesn't mind disc brakes when the stage suits him, where weight isn't a concern. And that chasing weight would be quite a shift of focus for the company that has in the past never really expressed much of an interest in chasing the lightest weight possible. And the founder, Ernesto Carnago, has himself said in various interviews over the years that weight has never been a main focus for him. Instead, durability, reliability, and handling have been bigger concerns rather than chasing the lightest weight possible. But that might change with Tadej Pogacar being the amazing rider he is and giving him the advantage he needs to defend his title at the Tour de France uh, this summer. The other reason the company might be chasing lighter weight and this bike could be genuine is the company was sold to an investment group last year. So there should be more money flowing into the Italian company, so more money to develop cutting edge designs, both in terms of aero and lightweight, and not have the restrictions they've had in the past because they are quite a small company. So now they've got this investment group behind them and that investment group would definitely want a return on investment uh, for the company and use the amazing success and riding style of Tade Pagaccia to sell a ton load more bikes. That is why bike brands sponsor teams and why sponsors get involved in World Tour Racing because they do sell bikes. So given all that, I think there's a strong likelihood we will see a new V3 RS or whatever it be called this year. And whether this bike is that new bike or it's something else, we'll have no idea. But watch Tadej Pogacar, watch some of his team at some of the smaller races leading up to the Tour de France. A launch coinciding with the Tour de France would be a natural move, but you might see it in action at a race like the Dauphine uh, before that. So definitely watch what they're riding very closely. So let's take a closer look at this fantastic looking bike shared with me on Twitter by a viewer. Whether it's genuine or fake, I don't know, but it does look pretty amazing. And if it's fake, it's a very good fake, very good Photoshop. But some interesting details on it that for me do suggest it might actually be a new V3 RS or a replacement for the V3 RS. The most obvious detail on this bike is how skinny and small profile all the tubes on the frame are. The down tube, seat tube, top tube, the rear stage was dropped as well. 
and generally a smaller diameter tube is lighter than a bigger diameter tube so making a tube smaller will definitely save weight but working on the wall thickness and the carbon fiber layup as well to assure the stiffness is there as well despite what appears to be a shrunken uh, reduced profile frame compared to the current v3 rs all the tube profiles look aero as well because the v3 rs has been a bike that's tried to be aero but lightweight as well not a pure aero bike like that old concept but not as light as it could be a real balance between the two something like the specialized tarmac sl7 where you're trying to balance juggle the two demands of aero and weight so we have those really skinny tubes which are going to save weight but you also have a clear aero profile on the tubes as well and up front we have what appears to be a fork with a steering tube and then an additional sort of fairing structural fairing on the front of it actually integrated into the fork which is something i've not seen on a bike before but i think bmc did something similar with a time machine road bike many years ago they had a sort of structural fairing on the front and this appeared to be a similar design concept a fairing on the front of the fork but integral to the fork so it's a structural member as well and then on the drive side head tube area of the bike and only on this side of the bike and not on the non-drive side area we have what appear to be aero channels in the head tube area now italian bike brands have been guilty of style over substance and flares like this in the past but given the high level of uh, engineering in race bikes these days i don't think there's probably a style thing it's probably a functional thing so it's interesting how he might be trying to manage air around the head tube and trying to decrease drag in this area so really fascinating bit of design if it is genuine but it could be totally fake and just a crazy design photoshop idea but let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below the other really interesting detail is the integrated aero bottle cage on the down tube which reminds me very heavily of the bmc t machine i reviewed last year this bike does look very much like a bmc in many ways actually and if it had a BMC logo on it, rather than the Carnago logo this one has, I might be talking about this being a new BMC bike. Maybe it is a new BMC bike, and somebody photoshopped Carnago on it to re, uh, lead us astray. So those are the main details on this bike that really stand out. No idea on weight, aero performance, tyre clearance, if disc brakes, would it be a rim brake version as well? So lots of question marks around this bike, whether this is actually a genuine um, first glimpse of a new Carnago race bike or as a red herring as a Photoshop bike and the last detail on this bike is stamped on the head tube and it's ZOR so ZOR which I think according to Google is Italian for hurry or speed which could be a good name for a bike if they are dropping the V3 RS which let's be honest not the most exciting name in the world not very glamorous or exciting just just a couple of letters and digits so ZOR could be the name of a new bike anyway that's my thoughts on this picture doing the rounds on Twitter at the moment. Is it a brand new Carnago race bike? Is it not? We'll find out very soon, I guess. But I do think we might see a new bike from Carnago very soon. So it could be lighter, probably more aero as well. And it'll definitely be in action at the Tour de France would be my hunch. But I've been wrong before. I could be wrong again. But those are my thoughts, my speculation on this picture and what it means for Carnago this year. But of course, let me know what you think by leaving a comment down below. But that's all I've got time for today. If you want to see that video on the brand new Cannondale and Trek speculation, that's linked right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting this button just here. But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.